Facebook has an app for famous people, more iPhone 6 rumor news, and Google tells developers to stop making Android Wear watches. This and more coming up next on Today in the World of Tech. Hey, welcome to Digital Tech Thoughts, where we share our thoughts on tech, and this is Today in the World of Tech. My name is Bryson, it's July 17th, let's get started. Let's start off with some rumor news. Apple's rumored upcoming iPhone is rumored to have a 13 megapixel camera from Sony X More. Sony cameras are usually found in other cameras and smartphones, so it's good that Apple's finally coming on board. Thanks to famous leaker at Evleaks, ATT is rumored to carry the LG GPad 7 with LTE. The LG GPad 7 is a decent Android tablet with some average specifications. Samsung is rumored to bring the Note 4 at this year's IFA, and it's said that it will have a UV sensor. Now, it's believed that the UV sensor is going to tell you when it's too hot and you should go inside or when you should apply some sunscreen. Stay tuned. We're getting more information up and leaks about Nvidia's upcoming tablet, the Shield tablet. It's rumored to have a 7-inch screen with 2 gigs of RAM as well as Nvidia's Tegra K1 processor and Nvidia's amazing Unreal Engine 4. Again, this is just a rumor. Now for some official news. Apple introduced iTunes Passbook to Japan yesterday, but it has officially launched in the US as well as Australia today. With iTunes Passbook, you can store iTunes Store credit on digital cards in Passbook. Apple plans to bring iTunes Passbook to more countries in the days ahead. Amazon now is offering Prime 2-day shipping to Europe customers. Originally, it would take 3-7 to seven days for your package to arrive. This is only available for EU customers. In other Amazon news, you can now get the Android L keyboard directly from the Amazon App Store. Last week, Google took down the Google Keyboard for material design because it did not follow Google's terms and agreements. In other Google news, Google is telling developers to stop making Android Wear watch faces. Google is still currently creating the Android Wear watch face API, and it's also rumored that the Android Wear watch face API is set to come out when Android L comes out as well. Microsoft said today that they are going to lay off 18,000 employees. This is because Satya Nadella's new plan for Microsoft. 40% of the company will lose their jobs, and majority of these people will be from Nokia's part. In other Microsoft news, Microsoft is only going to create phones with Windows Phone OS. This means that phones like the Nokia X and Asha line will be ended. In other Microsoft news, Microsoft has also said that Xbox One sales has doubled in the US after they terminated the bundle with the Xbox One and the Kinect. Previously, you had to buy the Kinect with the Xbox One. Facebook launched another app today, it's called Facebook Mentioned. Now it's only for verified users and it's only for iOS. It tells verified users if they're trending or if they're decreasing and how, the, how their fan base is doing. So if you're a verified customer, go download it. You can find those links in the description below. Today, LG launched the LG G3 Beat. It's not calling it the LG G3 Mini, but it actually is. Instead of the 5.5 inch quad core display, there's a 5 inch 720p display with a quad core Snapdragon 400 processor. No word on availability or price yet. Have you had trouble trying to reach someone while you were hiking or while there was no service? Well, that's no longer going to be a problem. A company called Gotenna created the Gotenna. It uses low frequency radio waves that let you communicate with other Gotennas in a 5 mile radius. It works on an iOS and Android device and it's currently a Kickstarter. You can get a pair for $150, but if you want to wait till after the Kickstarter ends, you have to pay $300. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Bryson with Digital Tech Thoughts, where we share our thoughts on tech. And you just watched Today in the World of Tech. Today in the World of Tech airs five days a week and you can catch up and get your daily dose of tech. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on social media. Once again, my name is Bryson from Digital Tech Thoughts, where we share our thoughts on tech.